Well, my new AK-74 clone muzzle device uh, seems to be doing a fantastic job of stabilizing the weapon and uh, reducing recoil, but what I did notice, it definitely changed my point of impact on my Zero. I had to uh, adjust both elevation and windage uh, for this new muzzle device. Uh, it definitely affects the round a lot differently than the slant muzzle device I had on there in the previous video. Uh, I'm sure this isn't uncommon. Uh, I've read somewhere that perhaps it stabilizes the round a little better. But uh, nonetheless, it took a little bit adjusting. Uh, but uh, we're back on zero and uh, the weapon's firing just, uh, just fine. Well, with the third range visit completed, uh, my NPAP has performed great. I mean, there's been uh, no malfunctions, uh, no problems of any kind. Uh, the fit, the finish has remained uh, intact. Uh, no slop, uh, no handguards working themselves loose, nothing of that nature. The modification of the stock has definitely paid off. It's, uh, it's just a fantastic fit uh, to me. Had to re zero like I mentioned earlier, due to adding the new muzzle device, which I love the new muzzle device. It's fantastic. Um, the only shortcoming so far uh, with my NPAP, and I think it's a little too early to make a decision on how big of a deal it is, is I am getting some mushrooming on my bolt carrier group, which, if you follow AKs, you know, it's all over the internet, it's all over the forums, and, uh, you know, you get a lot of different guidance on there. I think I'm just going to ride it out a little bit. I want to see if uh, the steel hardens up and uh, if the mushrooming stops. I've marked uh, the level of mushrooming, so I'm going to monitor that after maybe two or three more range visits to see if it's progressed. If it hasn't progressed, then I'm not going to worry about it. Uh, I, I supplied some pictures at the end of the video, and I'll probably talk about this again. But that's my, the only shortcoming thus far. I really enjoy the weapon. I enjoy shooting it. It's very accurate. Uh, it's a lot of fun. And we'll just have to wait and see, uh, you know, after maybe another two, three hundred rounds, and uh, make a decision then.
Well, after my third range visit, and uh, upon inspecting my AK, my NPAP, I too am suffering from the deformed rear of the bolt carrier group that everyone is talking about. I think I'm going to go ahead and let it play out and see if uh, the steel hardens. I, and I'm going to mark it and see if it uh, deforms anymore. Uh, if it doesn't, I'll leave it be. Uh, if it continues to mushroom uh, to an unsafe point, then obviously I'm going to have to contact uh, Century and see what they're going to do.